I'm, I'm really glad that there's not too much traffic, air traffic here preventing us. That was, that's our plane and, uh, well, that's the airport. And that's our plane and... Hey guys, we're here in the Southern Philippines at a mission project that we're gonna be filming for the next 10 days or so. And we'll see what happens. And if you're new here, my name is Jonathan and my wife is Hannah and this channel is all about missions, the needs, what it's actually like, the challenges, and uh, the opportunities that God can use us in. So if that sounds interesting, hit subscribe and join us on this journey. It's like rainy season and so it rains every afternoon so I don't know if we're gonna end up riding in the rain, but if we do it's really, I don't want to have to worry about our equipment. so. We've been uh, doing things to have a little more peace of mind. Right now it's 3.37 in the morning and today we're going on motorcycles to visit at least one church, I think, and then we're going to be spending the night on the beach and then going to church tomorrow uh, on Sabbath and then coming back after church but we're just praying because the roads especially in the mountains are really dangerous really tough steep muddy it's beginning of rainy season here uh, so we're just praying that God will keep us safe and we'll get some really good footage So it's just after 5.45, we've been driving for an hour and 40 some minutes. I feel like I'm getting well acquainted with my sits bones. Um, what else happened? I melted my boot. How'd you do that? I was trying to move my foot so it wasn't on top of his foot because my feet were on, on top of his feet and so it kind of hurts. But they've just rigged up a uh, foot pig extender. What exactly do you do here? Like, what is the project here? Okay, the project is to see people into heaven. Um, <laughs> we are medical missionaries, we're Bible worker trainers, we're Bible workers, we are administrators, we're mothers and fathers, grandfathers and you know grandmothers. Um, we've got a lot of children, a lot of uh, adult children, <laughs> because even the adults here are, are very naive to the world. I mean, mm. basic things like sitting on a toilet, plugging in a plug-in, <laughs> um, turning a light bulb, um, riding a motorcycle, these are all things that we've had to teach even adults. Mm. So, teaching life skills, mm -hmm. um, we've got a radio station now that's up and, up and running um, almost <laughs> full-time soon in the next few weeks. Mm -hmm. And um, so our work is, is pretty vast. Mm -hmm. um, 
and then of course staying in fit for the for the travels because the mission's far and wide. Uh, yeah. We've got a lot of mountains and and even with the good roads it's challenging with the weather yeah. and it's a lifestyle. It's a lifestyle yeah. change that not only are we teaching but we're learning too. Mm. We're, we're hopefully learning more than we're teaching. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. I like that that concept of missions not being an event or a career or a anything like that but missions being a lifestyle we call it discipleship in action <laughs> yes because that's what jesus taught amen you know that's what he taught his disciples and he was our teacher he is our teacher he's yes. alive yes yes yeah, absolutely <laughs> amen howdy so this morning i got up at 2 a.m and we drove like two and a half three hours or something and uh, we're gonna go on a bike ride so Mike mountain bikes and um, it's good for his health and he likes to pass out books so we've got a group here that we're gonna go and he told me it the ride won't be too bad uh, too hard but looking forward to seeing what happens So we're a little over four hours into the ride. I think we're getting close to being done. Um, that's Mike and some of the guys. We just gave a book to that man. I'm gonna pray with him. Um, and yeah, it's pretty cool to combine exercise with outreach and just stopping with people and talking and sharing and giving them a book and praying with them. It's been a real blessing for them. And I know that if they read it, it will be an even bigger blessing. So one of the things that happened while we were at the beach um, was during the daylight, you know, I could see a few boats, but not really that many, um, mostly just close to the shore. But when the sun went down and it got dark, I could see lights on lots of boats that were farther out. I couldn't see them before. But in the darkness, I could see them. And you know, that brought to mind a object lesson. Jesus wants us to be lights. And lights shine in darkness. Uh, you can see them better in darkness, just like those boats. I couldn't see them when it was daylight. But when it was night, the light shined a long ways. And so God wants us to shine, and we shine better there's there's more of a contrast really when there's darkness and there's many dark places in the earth there's many places that don't have the light of the knowledge of God of the scriptures and uh, I think that's one reason that Jesus said go ye into all the world and preach the gospel um, because our lights will shine brighter and will bring light to the dark areas uh, in this world. So, just a thought for you to think about. Where does God want you to shine your light? You know, God really can use anybody. And we hope that this vlog was an encouragement to you that God can use even you. It doesn't matter where you are, what kind of job you have, and what situation you're in. God wants to work through you and be a blessing to others. So we hope to see you next time on our next vlog. We also hope that you will join us on this journey by hitting subscribe and hope to see you next time.